Good morning, ARBC family, friends, and community. It's another beautiful day here, and I don't know about you, but days like today make it so much easier to live through this time. I've been reflecting on this past Sunday, Easter Sunday, on how it was a strange day, but in many ways, a beautiful one, where priorities perhaps had a chance to realign Experiences may just impact our view of Easter and the years to come. Fast forward to that same evening and many of us had a sleepless vigil as we listened closely for weather alerts encouraging us to seek shelter. After finally falling asleep just before dawn Monday morning, I woke up a few hours later to survey the damage. We were fortunate no limbs down, no damage from the massive live oaks in our front yard. But do you know what I did see? Colorful yet flimsy pinwheels scattering my walkway, spinning as fast as they could, still standing. These pinwheels came from a church family who stopped by one day last week when honestly I was having a really terrible day. They brought joy, smiling faces, poster boards of encouragement, and pinwheels to decorate our yard. Despite the forceful wind and rain, each of those were still in place when we awoke yesterday. It was a wonderful sign of hope and newness for me as I looked at the colorful pieces bursting out of the ground spinning incredibly fast as the wind moved them round and round. It made me think of this passage, and I want to share it with you. I will be reading from the Message Translation. Isaiah 43, 16-21 This is what God says, the God who builds a road right through the ocean, who carves a path through pounding waves, the God who summons horses and chariots and armies. They lie down and then can't get up. They're snuffed out like so many candles. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Be alert. Be present. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert. Rivers in the badlands. Wild animals will say, thank you, that coyotes and the buzzards, because I provided water in the desert. Rivers through the sun-baked earth. Drinking water for the people I chose. The people I made especially for myself. A people custom-made to praise me. God is doing something brand new in our lives. It's bursting forth. We've got to look for it. Some days we need to look harder than others. What good is coming out of this time of self-isolating? So much good already. Even in the midst of fear and uncertainty, the flowers are blooming. The skies are beautiful. The birds are chirping and God's people are finding new ways to encourage and be present with one another and to be the hands and feet of Christ even when we cannot stand close to one another. God is with us, equipping us, comforting us, providing for us, and making all things new. Let's join together and look closely for the beauty that is undeniably bursting forth. Thanks be to God.